What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Today we are diving into something super exciting that could totally change how we use our phones inside the car. For years, it's been all about Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, right? They're great, but remember when Google got rid of Android Auto for phone screens, that app was a lifesaver for so many of us, especially if you had an older car without a fancy built-in screen. Google tried to replace it with something in Maps, but let's be honest, it just wasn't the same. Well, guess what? Samsung might be stepping in to fill that gap with something called Samsung Auto Dex. This isn't just another car application, it's looking like a serious game changer and it could be exactly what we have been waiting for. So what exactly is Samsung Auto Dex? If you're a Samsung user, you might already know about Samsung Dex. It's that cool feature that lets your Galaxy phone act like a mini computer when you connect it to a monitor, giving you a desktop-like experience. Think of Autodex as taking that same awesome idea and making it perfect for driving. From the leaked screenshots we have seen, it looks super sleek, it's got this cool walk inspired design which means it uses a card based layout just like the newer Android Auto. This lets you see multiple things at once like your navigation map taking up biggest part of the screen, you will see quick shortcuts for places like home and office which is super handy. Galaxy Techie on X has leaked so many screenshots about this feature and they are quite interesting. As you can see, this is the home page of Samsung Auto Dex where you have got some of the applications on the left hand side. At the center, we have got home office options and on the right hand side, we have got a couple of more cards with music player and on the other card, it says good evening, listen to the brief. So this may be some brief information that we need. And at the bottom, we have got the taskbar with the application button. We have got phone messages and maybe we can add more application and we also have navigation button on the right hand side bottom corner and then you can see the phone app here looks pretty cool you've got the dialer recents option and contacts option here you can see the full screen real estate of the music player we got the player on the left hand side and we have got all those songs on the right hand side and all these design elements look familiar it looks more like one ui 8 or one ui 7 design elements and here galaxy techie says he accessed this feature using galaxy a55 this means you can use this dex feature on the phone even if the device isn't supported he went on to say a Dex pop-up shows after connection for the first time, you can manage and open applications from both the auto and Dex taskbars. There are some more screenshots he has shared about the media sounds, car widgets, wallpaper based on light dark mode or sunrise sunset from the settings. Cruise mode starts automatically if you drive faster than 30 km per hour inside the car, he says. And then you can see these widget cards here. We got weather, calendar schedule, travel, nearby services like parking lot plus gas station and one UI 8 text to speech. And we also have now brief card right here. And he has also shared a compiled spreadsheet of Samsung Auto plus Dex supported vehicles. It's about 8,500 plus vehicles he has shared and this particular features are currently supported on them and he also says that this feature can be accessed even if your car is not supported. Now this is the leaked information but how exactly this works is unknown. Some reports even say you might be able to use Autodex directly on your phone without even connecting it to the car. Imagine having a super clear, easy to use driving interface on your phone, whether you are in a car, a rental, or even just using it for navigation on a bike. This flexibility is something Android Auto and Apple CarPlay don't really offer. According to these reports, even if you don't connect your phone to the car's navigation system, you will still be able to see this interface, the all new Samsung Auto Dex interface on the phone screen itself. And that will make a lot of difference because if you do not have an infotainment system inside your car, you can use your phone, use Samsung Autodex feature inside your car which is going to be very useful, easy to navigate and all the needed features will be available right on the phone. Android Authority also tried to clarify a few things regarding this particular feature. They say that Samsung Autodex is apparently Samsung Dex which is hooked to Samsung Auto not the other way around. The desktop mode needs to be enabled on the primary phone, not the head unit which is the infotainment system. And they also say that the workaround can be used to run Samsung Auto on any device or head units as long as the device can install the receiver application. So you aren't limited to head units either. So we will be able to use this feature on the uh, infotainment system itself or we can use it right on the phone and fix the phone on the infotainment area or wherever you want 
and you will have Samsung Auto Text right on your phone. Once we get this feature officially, I will keep you guys posted. So stay tuned, be sure to subscribe to the channel and do not forget to download our wallpaper application Volvers. There are some fantastic wallpapers here, both free and premium, and we'll be adding live wallpapers very soon. So go ahead, download it. The link for the app is in the description. Now you guys let me know what do you think about this Samsung Auto Dex feature? Would you really use it if you get it? Drop a comment and share your thoughts. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys take care and stay safe. I'll see you in the next one soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.